Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, the All-Merciful, the Ever-Merciful, and the everlasting curse on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, allow me to start this episode with one of the sayings of the Master of Martyrs who says, I never revolted in vain as a rebel or as a tyrant, but I rose to seek reformation for the nation of my grandfather, Muhammad the Prophet, and I intend to enjoy good and to forbid evil and to act according to the traditions of my grandfather and my father, Ali bin Abi Talib. Our respected viewers, welcome to Who's Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, talking about some of the events and stories happened to him during his holy life, and then mentioning some of the prophetic traditions and quotes said in his right, and then ending up with his unmatchable, unparalleled martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi, and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, in the previous episode, we spoke about Muawiyah's campaigns of persecution and murder against the loyalist of the Prophet's household. And we also spoke about uh, Muawiyah's message sent to Imam Hussein, telling him to be firm to his commitments towards Allah the Almighty. However, in today's episode, we will continue talking about the same concept, yet in a more elaborate way. And we also will talk about the message that Imam al Hussein alayhi salam sent back to Muawiyah, telling him about his broken commitments towards Allah the Almighty. Indeed, Imam Hussein alayhi salam sent Muawiyah a crushing response, reminding him of his broken commitments, of the many innocents he had murdered, and his harassment and persecution against the Shia. The Imam says in his message, is not Ali's religion the same as that of his cousin, the Prophet, upon whose seat you sit right now? Is not for the people's reverence of this religion, you and your fathers would have been forever wandering like nomads from one place to the next in the burning desert. Allah will never forget that you arrested his friends and ordered their execution on the grounds devoid of logic or wisdom and made them homeless by exiling them to faraway lands. And he will never forget that she took that unlawful oath of allegiance from the people for your son Yazid, while he is an immature youth who openly drinks and loves playing with dogs and monkeys. I can, Imam Hussein continues saying, see that with this indecent behavior, you destroy your religion and the world of yours, transgressed and betrayed the rights of your subordinates and regarded fear of Allah as something insignificant. Our respected viewers, the Imam's words clarified the reality of this situation like a bolt of lightning in the night sky illuminates everything in the black and white. In fact, from the transmission of this letter throughout history, the Imam has made clear the evil of the accursed Muawiyah bin Abi Sufyan even until this day, so that none may claim ignorance of his flagrant disobedience and disbelief towards Allah the Almighty. It was at this time that Imam al Hussein alayhi salam began to meet with his companions and seek their advice concerning the actions of Muawiyah bin Abi Sufyan and to spread the word to their trusted companions among the Shia that he was gathering supporters to enforce the rule of Allah and save their religion from ruin at the hands of corruption, wickedness, tyranny and despotism. Our respected viewers, this is the end of today's episode. Let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the master of our time to interpret the message of his grandfather, Imam Hussein, who says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. This is what we have for you in today's episode. Until we meet again, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.